Welcome to Martha Runs the World, a podcast with a new take on running, fitness, and all things health-oriented. I'm Martha Hughes, your host, and each week I present a new topic that is of interest to all runners. Hi, and welcome to episode 254 of Martha Runs the World. This week I'm going to talk about my turkey trot over Thanksgiving, and I'm going to also talk about some great gifts that if you're still looking to buy for your favorite runner, these might be good ones to buy at the last minute. Way back in the first year of my podcast, I talked to Steve Wu, who is the director of the San Francisco Turkey Trot. And you want to go back and listen to that show. It's really interesting how the race got started way back 21 years ago. It's been going on for a very long time. It started on Ocean Beach itself. Yes, on the sand. And he has a great, great story about that. He has many good stories. So that's a really good one to start with after this one if you want to hear all about it. It's very interesting. I love this race. This is one of my favorite, favorite races. I look forward to it every year. And since I started working in the clinic, I usually work on Thanksgiving Day, so I always have to take that day off so I can do this race. I'm not missing it anymore. It's like, nope, nope. I will always take Thanksgiving Day off to do this race. So I really look forward to it, and I had a really fun day. But I have to be honest is that my running has kind of been in a funk since the Golden Gate half. I That really de- deflated my enthusiasm. <laughs> I, I just, just because I, I didn't do as well as I thought I was going to do. And I was just, oh, I don't know. I, I, I think what the problem is, is that it's taking me a lot longer to get where I want to be this time around than it did before. That probably has to do more with my age and with two surgeries. So I will get where I want to be. It's just going to take me longer. I have to be patient with it. I will get to where I want to be eventually. So that's kind of tough. It's tough for me to accept setbacks. It's tough for me to, I'm not defeated at all. So I'm not accepting defeat, but it's tough for me to accept that yeah, I'm older. It's different now. So as we age, and I and I will do a show just about aging and how running changes as we get older. I'm going to do a show completely about that in the future, so stay tuned for that. I have to accept that I'm not the same runner that I was even four or five years ago when I didn't have any of these problems. I'm totally different now. Things are different, so I have to accept that. And it's slowly seeping into me that, yeah, things are a little different, so I have to go into my running different. And it'll happen. Things will happen, and I will get back, maybe not back to where I was, but I'll get to a different place in my running. I, I don't want to go back to where I was. We we shouldn't go backwards. That's the wrong way of thinking, I think, or maybe not wrong, but that's not the way I should be thinking. I want to be in a different place with my running now that I'm at a different age. That sounds better, doesn't it? The San Francisco Turkey Trot attracts very fast runners. It always has. Many of the runners who do this race every year are extremely fast. There are two different race distances in the San Francisco Turkey Trot. There's a five-mile turkey trail trot and the Three mile, a pilgrim's progression, process, pilgrim's procession. Sorry about that. It's hard to say. And the five mile is really the only one that's taken, that's uh, recorded, and that pictures are taken of. The three miler is just really for fun. All the walkers do it, and if you don't care about getting your picture taken or your time recorded or anything, you do that. I did decide to do the three miler today because I just didn't feel like I could get five miles of running in as fast as I wanted to. to. I could probably do the five mile, but I would probably be at the end of the run, towards the tail end of everything, and 
I didn't really want to do that today. So I said, okay, I'll just do the three miles and that'll be fun. So I did that. I got up early and took the bus out and it was very chilly. For us here in San Francisco, it was chilly. But it's so beautiful to be in the park right before the sun rises. It's just a really nice time to be out there. It's chilly. There's just that hint of light in the horizon on the east. And it's at the polo field. And this big green polo field, there is this fog, this little layer of fog, mist above the green grass. It's really cool. It's just it's just a neat time to be out there. So that was really neat. I did get out there too early because the bus didn't take long at all to get out there because there was hardly anybody on it. So it didn't hardly make any stops. So it was like an express bus. So it got me out there in no time at all. <laughs> so I had a lot of time to kill. So I looked around and took some pictures. It was really neat. And uh, so you get a shirt. Okay, the the turkey trot for 21 years, they've been giving shirts out. Now, they don't give out a race shirt. It's a cotton Hanes shirt with a really neat design on it. The design is killer. An artist does the design every year that some person, an artist, different artists do the design. It's very, very well done. And it's really, really cool shirt. And some people collect these shirts every year. Now, new people doing the race might not, might scoff at a cotton shirt and say, why do they do a cotton shirt? Well, it's tradition. There's no metal. You get a cotton shirt, which is really just fun. I think it's fun. I think it's the only shirt that I've ever, I think it's the only race that I've ever done where you actually get a cotton shirt. And you get the cotton shirt at the race day. You cannot get it before race day. You can register the uh, that weekend before Thanksgiving. I think he has, Steve has a little table at Sports Basement, a uh, sporting goods store in the Presidio that Saturday before the race. And you can register and you can pick up your bib, but you cannot get that t-shirt until the day, until Thanksgiving day morning. And it's a very coveted shirt, I'll tell you. <laughs> It's really, really interesting how that works out. I got there early and I'm walking around a little bit. And one of the cool things about it is that it raises money for the Lowell High School and the Washington High School track teams. So they have the mascots for the track teams there, along with the mascot of the race, which is a turkey. He's number one. And then the mascot for Lowell High is a, is a buffalo and the Washington High mascot is an eagle. So they're, all the mascots are there. And Washington High School has a marching band. So the marching band is there. And before the, the three-mile and the five-mile races, there is uh, the kids' race. And that's really cool because they have the kids' races across the field of the polo field, the, uh, like the width of the polo fields. And it's really fun to watch these little kids. They just take off like crazy, and you can watch them go. It's really fun. I actually got on live on this uh, public radio show that they came out and did a live broadcast for a little while of the pre-race and the kids race. So I talked to them a little bit on the show and pushed my did a little, you know, free advertising of the show. So that was fun. I don't know if anyone listened because of it, but it was cool and it was nice talking to them. So that was neat. And there's just a lot of really nice people. I talked to a whole bunch of neat people. This older lady and her dog nearly bit me. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> but other than that, that it was it was fun. And then the race happens. And the race itself, he only has like space for like 16, 1700 people. So it's very small. And um, the race starts at the polo field. And then it goes through mostly trails through Golden Gate Park. I would say it's like maybe 60, 70 percent trails and then the rest pavement. So it's mostly trails. It's a really neat course. Like I said, I, I just my running has just been off. I've been doing running and stuff, but it just hasn't felt right yet. I know it will click in and I'm not fast at all. Road running is just not my thing. I'm just 
don't have the 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 speed for it at all. I would really like to do the five mile next year, <laughs> thinking that might be my last turkey trot in San Francisco. But I would really like to do the five mile next year, so that's a goal to do the five mile and to not suck at it. <laughs> anyway, so I did the three mile. I did it under 40 minutes, so that's pretty good. It's not not bad for me. <laughs> so I did that, and it was I really did my best running. Tried my best to to run most of it, run as fast as I could. So that was that was pretty cool. I said, okay, well, I won't get timed by the race. But I will do the three miles, and I'll do it pretty well, and I'll have a good time. And it was fun. I mean, it's just a fun time, and everybody has a good time doing it. It's just a great, great group of runners and people. And a lot of people who have run the race are like past Olympic runners have done this race. People who live in the area or a family in the area come by and just do this race because they're right there, so why not do it in the morning? A lot of people traveling who are just spending Thanksgiving in the area do this race. It's a pretty popular race. It sells out pretty quickly. I know by like um, the end of October it sold out. So it's it's pretty, pretty good race if you ever get the chance to do it. I highly, highly recommend it. It's, it's a good time. I would say yes, thumbs up. Steve always does a great job. He is just um, a terrific master of ceremonies. Oh, and the best part of, well, the running is the best part, obviously. But the second best part, they have a the award ceremony. And you need to stay around for the, the awards. And then after the awards is the raffle. Now, he gives lots of awards out. So it does take a long time. And some people kind of get a little impatient. But they need to realize that if they stay around, they're gonna, they have a really good chance of winning something in the raffle. So what he does is that they have the top three winners and then the top three winners, the top second place winners and the top third place winners. And then they go by age and they go through the age of the first place age and the second place age and the third place age in each group. So it takes a while. I think it takes like a half an hour, 45 minutes for all that. Now, if they don't stick around and they leave, then they lose their prizes and their prizes go into the raffle with all the other raffle stuff. So after all that, then the raffle happens and the raffle prizes are pretty, pretty cool. Now, I have really good luck with the raffle. I usually win something. I think I've done the race, I think... 15, 16 times, and I think I've won all but two. <laughs> I, and I won this year, too. I won a set of cookie cutters. I mean, these aren't huge prizes we're talking about, but yeah, it's pretty good. Last year, I won a, a bottle of Martinelli's Sparkling Apple Cider. That was cool and very, very useful. And I've won... Uh, a really good apple pastry from Schubert's Bakery, who are on Clement. That's an amazing bakery. And they are one of the many businesses who have, who contribute raffle prizes to the race every year. A lot of businesses uh, contribute things to either the raffle or to give away to the runners every year, which is remarkable. And thank you so much for that. Oh, and at the end of the race, it, the runners can come through and, of course, they get a bottle of water. But there's also this line that you can go through and get all these little goodies, these little sample goodies. And they, they include a biscotti. They also include madeleines, little things of applesauce, those little to-go containers of applesauce, nuts, all kinds of little goodies. And Many of us just sit there while we're waiting for the raffle, just eating them, just nibbling away at them. It's pretty fun. It's a pretty nice thing to, to have after a race. It's pretty cool. Let's see. But the raffle, there, there's so much stuff in the raffle. I have won in past years. Let's see. Oh, yeah. What else have I won? I had the apple pastry last year. Oh, yeah. I, I won a water bottle one year. Oh, one year I won the DVD of Home Alone, the movie Home Alone, and this little boy saw it and his eyes got big, 
and I gave it to him. And he was so happy. Oh my goodness. He was so, so happy. I think I made his whole day. So that made me really happy. So that was cool. I think that was the best year, the best present I ever got. That was awesome. But yeah, it's it's pretty fun. The raffle is really, really fun. <laughs> so that, that was cool. I, I think I just have to work on my running and just realize that this is new and everything is new now. And I can't compare myself to how I was before and just move forward with that, that this is how it is now and just be the best runner that I can be and not worry how I was before. I think that's going to be what, what helps me and what gets me going and more motivated because it's really hard to be motivated to do things if I just don't feel like I can ever be what I was. Well, I can't ever be what I was because obviously that's the past and the past will never be again. So I have to accept that and realize that, yeah, it's a different thing now and I'm different and it's, it, it is what it is and adjust accordingly. <laughs> oh, oh, life is just one big series of adjustments, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. All right. I hope you had great turkey trots and Thanksgiving races throughout the week before or the weekend before or on Thanksgiving or this this weekend. I'm doing this on the weekend. Uh, I hope you had a lot of fun and ate a lot because that's what you're supposed to do afterwards. See, that's why we run these races so we can eat a lot later. I think in the episode that I talked to Steve or maybe one of the other episodes about the turkey trot, because I talk about it every year, I did talk about how many runners run on Thanksgiving. It is the biggest running day of the year, and there's a reason for it. We like to run, and then we like to go eat. Don't we? Yes, we do. There's that uh, meme that I really like saying it had lists all these things on Thanksgiving, uh, turkey, mashed potatoes and gravy, um, stuffing, pumpkin pie. And it says, how long do you have to run or how far do you have to run to eat these? And then it says, it doesn't matter. J just enjoy yourself. It's Thanksgiving. Exactly. Now, let's talk about some gifts for runners. If you haven't started your shopping, or if you still have some things to buy for your running runner friends, your run, runner family members, or for those that you need to in your life, I have some ideas that would be pretty easy to find and pretty quick and won't break the bank. Because not all of us are so organized that we buy things months ahead of time. Yes, I know people who do that. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I try not to do the same things every year. So if I repeated from last year, I apologize. But I try to get different things in every year. There might be some repeats. But some things need to be repeated because they're great gifts. <laughs> Gooder sunglasses. If you wear sunglasses, I do not when I run, but some people love them. If you are a sunglass wearer or if you know a runner who is a sunglass wearer, Gooders are great sunglasses. They're made for runners. They're made for sports. They're durable and they're not expensive. You can find them for 25 bucks right now. They're really, really good glasses. They will last. And runners need durable glasses, don't we? Or at least sunglasses. We need durable glasses as well, but we need durable sunglasses because we're hard on things. <laughs> we are. We're not delicate flowers. <laughs> no, we are not. All right. Protec Icy Massage Ball. Now, I saw this, and this is cool. Now, I'm going to talk about massage gun in a little bit, but this is a really cool little massage ball. And this gets in those areas that a massage gun cannot get into. This is really, really good for your back or for your feet, for the bottoms of your feet. It's a little ball and it has little spiky things on it. So it would be perfect for massaging your feet, perfect for massaging your back. You can just stand and have this ball on your back against a wall and it would be perfect for that. And it's only seven bucks. 
I will have links to the items on the website, MarthaRunsTheWorld.com, so you can see these yourself. Buddy System Adjustable Hands-Free Dog Leash. Now, this is great. If you want your pup to be out there running with you, this is a perfect way to do it. I know people who do take their dogs out carn across style, I believe that's called. And this is a really nice way to do it. And this leash is 25 bucks. Long sleeve running shirts. These are really, really good to have, especially the ones that are made to wear in the sun that, uh, that are UV ray protected. These are perfect for your running friends. They can wear them in colder weather when it's sunny or warm weather. These would be excellent for your running friends and family. Manduka cork yoga blocks. If your running friends and family member does yoga, these blocks are excellent and would be very, very helpful helpful for them. And they're eighteen dollars each. Ufos sandals. Those are so nice. I have a pair and I love them so much. I wear them at home. They are just so comfortable and just wonderful for your feet. Zappos has them for $48. Halo sweatband. If you're not a hat wearer, but you like uh, sweatband headbands, Halo sweatbands are really, really nice. They'll keep the sweat out of your face for $18. Squirrel's Nut Butter, best name around. $15 for a tub, and this is excellent stuff. Now, I think that gift certificates are great gifts, and I will always push them on my gift shows. Some people don't think so, but I think they are wonderful. I think they are terrific things. Give them to your running uh, friends and family at a store that they love. Make sure that you do your homework and find out where they like to shop and where they like to go, because that's the important part. It's at a store that they never go to. That doesn't mean anything then. Then that won't be helpful. But if it's at a store that they love, if they like to go to REI or if they like to go to their neighborhood running shoe store, then get it at their neighborhood running shoe shoe store. Just get it for them from someplace that they will appreciate and know that your heart was in it. That's the difference in a gift certificate. If it's just generic, it It's not really meaningful, but if they know that you picked it out because they thought about you and they thought about what you liked, that's the important part. Now, a durable water bottle or coffee mug is always, always good. They don't last forever and they break a lot or we drop them. I I don't know how many coffee mugs I've broken by dropping, (laughs) really. I mean, they're expensive and they ought to be made better. But they aren't, so there you go. Sukin four-pack cooling towels are $17 on Amazon. And these things look really neat. You get a whole four-pack of these towels, and they look amazing if for hot weather running. Perfect, perfect things. These would be fantastic. And my last um, item is if your friends don't have a massage gun, They really need to get one. And if you don't have one, you should buy yourself one as a Christmas present. Massage guns are amazing, amazing, amazing things. And I don't know what I did without one for so long. And they are not expensive anymore. I bought mine for about 35 bucks. I got it on sale on Amazon Prime Day. It's just incredible. I love it. I'll never go without one ever again. (laughs) And they're just the best things ever ever. So yeah, that's my list. And that's a few things. I know there are a lot of other things, but those are just a few things that you can think of that are really nice for your running friends that are just something that I know that just about every runner can appreciate and like and enjoy. Okay. Now there will be a few more holiday themed shows coming up. So Be on the lookout for those. And I have some very special shows as well. So those are coming up in the near future. 
and just keep on with your running and your racing and we'll get there we will it, it'll happen <laughs> for me it might not happen as quickly as i want but it will happen i know it will i'm stubborn that way all right so everything is on the website martha runs the world.com and if you want to email me it's martha runs the world at gmail.com and until next week let's tie up your shoelaces and go for it.